great packaging, which I love, the place and stunning. I better actually get a start. I want some weight in this. I'll get a start on this first. Look at that. Look out of here. It smells divine. Look at the chilies in there. Fabulous. I'm giving that an O straight off the bat. That taste. Yeah, so what they've classed this as is they're loaded chips with mac and cheese. It's got everything. Oh, it's stunning. Mm. That was absolutely divine for a simple meal. Sometimes you just want to get some, some chips or some chips and cheese or cheesy chips. Call in there. We're in a car park just up the road next to a church. We're actually we're between two churches here, I think. And we might actually be in a church car park. It's a beautiful little area. Some of the houses are absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It's woody. But just down, down the hill, onto the main road there, a couple of hundred yards further up, on the left-hand side is the catch. It's got an upstairs restaurant area. Downstairs, there's bench seating. So everyone can get seated there, no problem, because there's outside seating too, if the weather's right. Yeah, fabulous. The staff were helpful, friendly, polite, everything you'd want. The place was spotlessly clean. Went to the toilets, we both did, my wife and I, and checked everything out. Great, modern, lovely. Let's get on. My wife disappeared now. Oh, look at that. Run away. Look at that. It's a regular haddock. We've got a little pot. Oh, we've got two pots of tartar sauce. Lovely. I asked if this if it was theirs. They said yes. So I'm just going to try that with a spoon. If you're not going to cake, like lumps of capers or or pickled gherkins or anything like that. They call cucumber if you like. It's not thick like that. And it's lovely and creamy. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. And you can see underneath what I've got is, I'm gonna, actually, I'm just gonna roll this fish over before I even try to test it. The batter looks sensational. But check these chips out. Now I know in the black country, they do battered chips and they're called orange chips there. And at some point, I'm going to get around to doing that. So it's just sort of north of Birmingham, really. It's, it's not Birmingham. It's, it's the black country. It's different. It's made up of a set of different regions. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled here. The batter on them chips. I'm just going to break open a piece of this. Had it. Look at that. You know what? Have they ever done a double O? Well, it's getting another O. It's getting another O for this meal. The regular haddock and their battered chips with salt and chili. I knew it was going to be good, which is why I gave it an all a no. This, this dish, an O, I am seriously in my element here. I'm so glad that the last one up here for now We'll be back, back in Scotland, hopefully go a bit further up. Maybe get up to the Shetland Islands even. Maybe get over to the Isle of Skye. So, oh, there's still plenty of places to go yet. But that'll come in time as the channel builds up and gets better. So get it shared. It's back to the computer. Look at a few reviews. Write my own. See you there. Mm. So as you can see by that, really enjoyed it. We're going to go straight into looking at some reviews. One star, beautiful food, but I've had three orders in a row where items are missing. Chip portion size is also entirely inconsistent. Response from the owner. Hi, Megan. I'm really sorry to hear this. Please contact us on and there's a, an email address so that we can put this right for you. Three star. Food looked great, but didn't have much taste to it. I had the fish and chips and the chips were greasy and tasteless. The fish was fresh, but didn't taste of very much. Staff were friendly. Five star. 
amazing battered haddock and chips. The fish was great and the salt and chili chips seasoning was spot on. Would recommend for anyone looking for a, a great fish and chips. Mine, five star. Catch came highly recommended, though I find myself spoilt for choice during the visit to Glasgow, as there are three locations to choose from. I opted for the catch in Gifnock. I don't know whether that's how you say it, but that's how it looks. Just outside the city, away from the hustle and bustle. With a couple of car parks within half a mile, I made use of the limited on-street parking in front of the shop before moving to one of the nearby car parks. The shop itself was spacious and modern, with restaurant seating upstairs and booth seating downstairs, along with toilets and a bar. The staff were smartly dressed, friendly and polite. The food was excellent, the haddock was generously sized, fresh and flavourful, encased in a light, non-greasy batter cooked in rapeseed oil. The tempura battered chips were particularly special, served with salt and chilli, including real, fairly hot chilies. The macaroni loaded salt and chilli chips were also delight and quite filling. Now I'm not sure, I can't remember whether they were double or triple cooked chips. There was some, it was something like that, either double or, or triple, I'm sure it was. So because I couldn't remember, I've left that out. The macaroni loaded salt and chilli chips were also a delight and quite filling. Cooking in, rapeseed oil, hygiene rating, pash, pass, cash or card, fish reviewed, haddock. See you on the next one. If you like this video, subscribe, share it, like it, hit the notification bell. And if you have any recommendations in your area, put them in the comments. Thank you.